Hi guys and welcome to my mandala tutorial. Um, for this tutorial or for this project today you will need um, some paper and a pencil. That is really the only things you need. Um, but if you want to do exactly the same version as I've done, you'll also want something to colour in with um, and a pen. Um, but if you don't have those things, don't worry. You can just do this with paper and pencil. Um, it's like a nice kind of project to doodle. Like a kind of structured doodle that you can colour in. So that's kind of makes it a bit like having making your own colouring in sheet. Um, if you don't have some or if you just want to make your own, which is quite a nice idea. So to start with, the first step is with your pencil and your paper. Just draw some circles. You want to start in the middle of the page um, with quite a small circle um, and then do some larger circles around it. Um, you can draw around a bowl or whatever you have in your house to draw around or you can use a compass. I've just gone for freehand circles because I think the wonky ones look kind of nicer. Um, but it's up to you. You could do squares, you could do different shapes, but I think circle is the easiest one to start with. Um, once you've done your circles, you want to start filling the shapes with patterns. So I've just gone for some stripes. Um, but you can use whatever shapes you want. You can put objects in, you can put words in. You can really personalize this project. So it is whatever you want it to be really. Um, I've just gone for stripes and blobs and circles. Just really basic, simple shapes, some triangles. Take your time with this step, there's no rush. Um, and this will sort of form the basis for what you will be colouring in later. Um, and don't worry if you don't have anything to colour in with, you can definitely just sort of shade it, which can be quite nice, or you can skip straight to the final step, which is the kind of outlines. Um, if you're doing just pencil, I would recommend doing this step in quite a light line, um, so that if you want to change it, it's easy to rub out. Um, yeah, so pause it here until you're ready for the next step, which is the colouring in. Um, for the colouring in, I have decided to use watercolour. Um, it, I think it's quite a nice medium to use when you're at home and you don't have maybe like a lot of space or a lot of sort of space for mess specifically. Um, watercolour is quite nice. Um, if you don't have watercolours, you can use just whatever you have. So pens, pencils, even acrylics. You can do an oil paint version, like a pastel version. Just using whatever you have in the house. Um, to start with the colouring, I've gone for uh, sort of green colours, as you can see. Um, I've gone for lots of different variations of green. So I've gone for some really lighter tones of green so for that I've just added a lot more water to my watercolour um, and then also slightly different shades of green so you can add some yellow to your green for a yellower green, add some blue for a bluer green, play around see how many different shades of green you can make. Um, I think it's also quite nice when you're doing these colouring in things to use that, like just using lots of one different type of colour because often if I'm doing them, I've run out of ideas. I'm like, oh, I've done all this, all these different colours, I don't have any more colours. So that's a good way of getting around that problem. Um, I've gone for some red and oranges here because they're a nice contrasting colour to the green so it stands out quite nicely. But I mean really just use whatever colours you want. There's no rules to this bit. Um, and they all sort of turn out quite nice when they're finished anyway. You don't really need to worry too much or think too much about what colours you're using. Just go with what you feel like. Um, this particular project is inspired by an illustrator I really like who is called... Um, 
Carol Barsk. I don't know if you can see, this is a book of hers that I've got in the house, which is called A Tale Whose Time Has Come. Um, and I'm not sure who the book is by, but the illustrator is Carol Barsk. And throughout the book, she has lots of this style of it, illustrations. Um, she has, like, does these funny dog characters. They're really nice. Um, and all of these, as you can see, are pretty unrealistic. Lots of bright colours. So multicoloured things work really well um, with this kind of style of illustration. Here's another one that's really nice. So you don't need to do this sort of technique as a mandala. You could do like any kind of random shape. You could draw some weird people. It's really up to you. So also the color again part of this is quite relaxing and it's sort of, it's a nice way to fill time. It takes your mind off there at the moment. It's quite nice to do while you're listening to music or watching TV. Um, it's quite a nice project that you don't need to think too much about so you can kind of, it's like a sort of structured doodle like I said before. It's a nice way to fill the time. And you get a beautiful colourful illustration at the end. It did take me quite a long time to paint all this so take your time. Um, when you're finished with these at the end, it'd be really nice to see if people have tried them, share it online under this video in a comment or something, you can post your picture so we can all see what everyone's been up to. Um, everyone will have different versions, so that'd be quite nice to see. Could make a big collage of them at the end or something, that'd be quite nice. Right, so when you're finished colouring in eventually, um, you can go back and go over all the outlines again. It sounds a bit boring, but it makes it look really nice. And actually I found this one of the more satisfying bits of the whole project, um, just because it brings all the colors out really nicely. It makes them stand out. Um, so I am using just like a black, really thin felt, felt pit tip. Um, but you can use whatever you have. So if you've just got biros, that's perfect. That's fine, that'll work. Um, any fine liner is good. Um, if you're just doing a pencil version of this, you can, of course, just um, do a harder pencil line that is much darker. So if you lean harder with your pencil, you'll get a much darker line, um, which will have a similar effect. Um, as I'm outlining this, I don't know if you can see this well in the video, but I'm sort of curving around all the corners. So any hard corner like this that I've drawn before, I'm turning into like a nice curve like this. And then I'm coloring in around the sort of petal shapes that that creates. Um, this is, seems to be something that Carol Barks, the illustrator does in most of her illustrations. And I think it looks really nice. Gives it a nice kind of stylized finish. Makes it look quite illustrative, kind of like a stained glass window, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so again, it takes quite a long time to go around all the outlines, but just take your time during this. A nice project where you don't need to think too much, but as you can see from the video, it has quite a strong effect when you outline it. So it's quite satisfying to do actually. It gives the whole thing a much more finished feel. If you are interested at all in the kind of meaning of what a mandala is, it's worth doing um, some research into. So have a look on Google, see what the internet shows you. Um, it means a lot of different things in different cultures. Um, in some cultures it is used in meditations, so a sort of tool for focus. Um, I think in some types of Buddhism, they create mandalas out of lots of different colors of sand. So if you want to look a video of that up on YouTube, it's amazing to watch. Um, in some cultures, they can be used as maps and diagrams and for all sorts of things, really. 
So it's all really interesting. Have a look if that is your kind of thing, if you find that interesting. Um, thanks very much for watching the mandala tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys had fun if you tried it. If not, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, I look forward to seeing some of the artwork that you guys come up with over this time. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.